Hello and welcome back to our channel. I am Farwa and you're watching the Ninja Iraqi Dinar News YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine. Let's start today's episode. Yesterday, economic researcher Ziad al-Hashemi raised a warning about the return of the dollar crisis to square one. This comes after the U.S. Congress's decision to freeze Iran's billions, which may lead to continuous rises in exchange rates, but perhaps without stopping this time. Al-Hashemi indicated that the U.S. Congress's decision to freeze Iran's billions will push Tehran to seek quick alternatives to obtain the dollar, with the closest option being the Iraqi dollar. He explained that these financial sanctions, if approved, serve as an American response to the supposed Iranian support for the Palestinian resistance in its war with the occupying entity. However, despite these sanctions, Al-Hashemi mentioned that Iran has many outlets that enable it to obtain dollars. This can be through its trade with neighboring countries or through cross-border smuggling operations. Turning our attention towards Iraq, it is expected that the American financial sanctions on Iran will result in an increase in Iranian demand to withdraw more cash dollars from the Iraqi markets. Al-Hashemi stressed that if this negative development actually occurs, it will bring the central bank and the Iraqi government back to square one. Additionally, it will undermine the effectiveness of many of the measures that were recently announced. Consequently, this situation will inevitably lead to a return of the fever of high demand for the dollar in exchange for its scarcity in the markets. As a result, we may witness continued rises in exchange rates, but perhaps without any signs of stopping this time. That's all for today's episode. Stay tuned for more updates and analysis regarding the Iraqi dinar and its economic situation. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. This was Farwa from Ninja Iraqi Dinar News, signing off. Take care and see you soon.